Hey guys, Abby Kay here, and I wanted to bring you a flip through of Apologia's Exploring Creation with Mathematics Level 3. So with Apologia Math, you get the teaching guide and answer key and the student book. I'm going to start with the teaching guide. Okay, a quick glance at the table of contents shows you the different units that will be covered in this course. We start with addition and subtraction. Uh, unit two is multiplication, then division, data and measurement, multiplication and division again, diving a little deeper, fractions and geometry. Then they have the week by week daily schedule. This is a great way to just kind of keep track of what lesson to do and what skills to practice. It is set up as a four day school week for 30 weeks. The introduction is well worth the read. Catherine Gomes has such a heart for not only math, um, but also homeschoolers. She is a second generation homeschooler who was homeschooled herself, homeschools her own children, and teaches math classes at different homeschool co-ops and even online courses for ACT and SAT um, practice classes. So she knows, she gets it, and we love her for it. Here's an explanation of those daily skills that are listed in the daily schedule. And then it goes into the teacher's guide with the unit introduction. So it's going to tell you what materials you're going to need for this unit, some explanation, the skills to practice with some suggestions and ideas, and then moving into the lesson answer key. So every lesson is going to have an answer key and teaching notes. I love that the answer key is a copy of the student page with the answers already filled in. So you get to see the whole thing, exactly what it needs to look like. Makes it super easy to grade. So again, answer key and teaching notes for every lesson. Information on the unit project, which we have loved. We love all of the unit projects. They are so much fun. The teaching notes and introduction to each unit are so helpful. Okay, moving through. The next thing you'll have in your teaching guide is the activity pages that would come for or go with um, the lessons as needed. Uh, we have only a handful left back here. I think just a few lessons that um, we didn't use the activity page for. We really love the activity pages. They're doable, easy to use. You just tear them right out from the book and use them with each lesson. So I only had a few left over. The very last page is the complete supply list. This is a nice reference. And looking at it, the supplies really are fairly common household items. You can really do this program with some base 10 blocks, maybe some linking cubes, and a deck of Uno cards. Would really get you far. OK, on to the student book. This is really the heart of the course. We enjoy the nice big spiral binding. It holds up well. My child is very hard on her school books. So this went through an entire school year and still looks as good as it does. OK, here's some more detailed table of contents to see the different units that will be covered. 
I really like how they move or they start with the introduction, just getting back into the groove of addition and subtraction, place value, and then multiplication and division. Then they take a quick break for data and measurement and circle back again to multiplication and division before finishing up with geometry. I like that break um, to do the data and measurement between the two um, goes at multiplication and division. It kind of gives them that, that mental break to try something different. So when they come back to dig a little deeper into multiplication and division, they've got a fresh start. Here's some more information on how to use the course. Okay, and then we have the unit introduction. These are wonderful. These tie in math with God's creation. Why do we study math? How does it apply to God's world? I love these unit introductions. I will say, though, this is really the only place that you're going to see those um, biblical or faith themes. So if that's not something you're interested in, it would be very easy to just skip the unit introduction. You wouldn't lose any content. So don't let that hold you back from checking out this curriculum. Okay, getting into the student pages. Every lesson is going to start with an activity. Then there will be usually some either examples or some lesson ex explanations, some information, and then on to the student practice pages. The pages are colorful, engaging, yet not overwhelming, which I really appreciate. It's not so much going on that it's a distraction. It's just enough to keep them interested and engaged. These games are always her favorite. She likes trying to beat me. So we have an activity. So these would be pages that you would tear out from the teaching, teaching guide and then the lesson practice. I love that the lesson practices are short and sweet and to the point. They are very efficient. Lots of use of number lines and number sense. Skip counting. Building problems with blocks to really get your hands on these concepts. We have learned through trying so very many math programs that more problems does not always equal more understanding. It just doesn't. There, you get to a point in those long practice pages where nobody's learning anything anymore. So with this, I find that these just handful of problems really solidify the concept being taught. They get just enough practice to really hone in on those skills, but not so much that they are overwhelmed and zoning out. Again, there's the UNO cards, lots of ways to play math games. Um, lots of use of, world, of word problems, which comes in so, so very helpful. Every lesson is different which for my daughter is one thing that she loves. She never knows what she's gonna do in math today. So it makes it exciting to get to see, oh, what game am we gonna play? What are we gonna do? What do I get to color or build or investigate? So we move through, here's another unit of data and measurement, reading clocks, Oh, battleship multiplication. This was a big hit. Making her own battleship game. And then circling back to division. Fractions, an introduction to fractions. It's such a gentle introduction to fractions. It really just makes it, it ties it in with um, not only division, but also geometry. 
to really give them that foundation for what is a fraction? Why do we need to use them? So as you can see, there's a, a bird or flying creatures theme. Each Apologia math ties in with an Apologia science course. So this one would tie in with the flying creatures science unit. You certainly do not have to do the two together. They are completely separate, not dependent on each other in any way. It's just kind of neat that if you wanted to, you could do both and have them kind of tie together, which is a lot of fun. And I like to end the flip through with the final project because those are always a lot of fun. Every unit has a project to do. And so this was the last one and she had a blast putting this together. And then there you go. The um, certificate of completion, which she always gets such a kick out of and likes to fill out for herself. So there you go. Apologies, Math 3.